Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. Today we're going to be replacing a Bank One Sensor One O2 sensor on a uh, GM 3.8 liter V6 Series 2. And the particular vehicle that this engine fits into uh, that I'm working on here is a 2001 Pontiac Bonneville. Now this engine also fits in a myriad of other GM vehicles so this is applicable to a, a lot of other vehicles. I, I don't have the year swath or all the years in the uh, the uh, different models that this engine goes into but uh, like I said this will apply to a lot of vehicles there now uh, before you get into it you'll notice that I'm missing my engine cover here and you'll probably have your engine cover on it's a big gray plastic piece that goes right here you'll need to remove that go ahead and take your oil cap and twist it off like this including the fill neck and then that uh, cover you just pull up like that and pull out on it and it'll come right out real easy to remove so go ahead and take that off and also uh, a couple of tools that you're going to need the one that we're going to be using for the uh, O2 sensor remover is this particular socket here it's a uh, O2 sensor socket and you can see it's got a little slit in the side of it that's where the uh, wire fits into and on the other side you have your opening there to go over the uh, nut of the, so the uh, O2 sensor and then your 3 8 drive uh, hole there to receive the ratchet or extension. I'm going to be using a uh, <clears throat> 6 inch extension and a 3 8 drive ratchet and also you don't have to use uh, a socket like that. Uh, there's other sockets out on the market that will work for this. This is another one that uh, I purchased not too long ago and it's all about what's, what works best for you. Uh, in this particular uh, application I think that this socket is actually best so I'm going to use it. Okay, so let me show you where this bad boy is. If you go over the top of the motor, this is the electrical connector for it, and it's actually supposed to be attached to this bracket here. There's a little plastic piece that actually broke off on it, and the wires go right down there to the back of the exhaust manifold, and I'll get some light down there for you. Going between these heater hoses here in that bracket, right there on the back side of that exhaust manifold, there's your O2 sensor. So before you remove your O2 sensor, you really need to disconnect it. Um, this is that little plastic piece I was telling you about that the O2 sensor uh, connector attaches to on the back side of this bracket here. Uh, it's kind of like a little Christmas tree rivet. There's a hole back there that, that the Christmas tree part goes up into and it holds it to this bracket here. And The piece actually slides up onto the uh, connector like that. And you see right here, you got this little tang that you can pull outward on just to get it past that little tit right there. And then you can slide the whole connector towards you like that or towards where the tang is and it'll slide right off that bracket there. Once you got your uh, connector detached from the bracket, you'll need to remove this little safety clip. Just pull right out on it, just like so. Pull up on this tang here like that and pull the two halves of the connector apart just like so all right let's get uh, get down there with our socket and you see that slit in the socket there we're gonna place that wire where that slit is and push that socket down over the oxygen sensor just like that I'm move that wire out of the way so you can see better but yeah, I got that socket pushed down over that uh, oxygen sensor all the way onto the nut. All right, let's go ahead and put our six inch extension on there, like so. And then if you look up that way, we're gonna go ahead and put our ratchet on there. And we're gonna go lefty loosey with it. And it's going to be a little tough. It's not a bad idea to spray that with some penetrating oil before you do this, by the way. All right, here we go. And there. So, moving. That's a good sign. All right, after you get it moving so far, you can probably go ahead and take your ratchet and your extension off. And also, your socket. You could probably remove it the rest of the way by hand. All 
there you go okay now the installation is basically the reverse procedure um, now I don't have a new O2 sensor I'm just showing you how to do this your new O2 sensor is going to come with anti-seize on these threads here be very careful whenever you're putting this in uh, don't take and put your finger in the anti-seize and then get the tip covered up with any anti-seize or anything like that you want to keep the anti-seize on the threads and the threads alone um, so be careful just watch out for that okay guys so reverse procedure let's go ahead and put your uh, O2 sensor back in the hole there start it by hand go ahead and put your O2 sensor socket back on and your extension and I, I really found that a six inch extension works the best way or the best on this because you actually got some room to work your ratchet above the engine let's go ahead and torque it down to the manufacturer's specification use your repair manual for that information remove your socket and extension and of course reconnect your connector put your safety clip back in Make sure your Christmas tree connector is back in on there. Slide it back into place. And then put it back on your racket, like so. And as I told you, mine's broken, so. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video was a help, please like and subscribe. Um, also, please check out my channel. I have many more helpful videos for you, in particular about the GM 3.8 liter V6 uh, Series 2 engine. And if you have any questions, comment below. And please read the entire description of this video before you attempt this. Thank you very much.